Today's lesson is sponsored by, by Sell Direct Ghana. Do you want an easy way to sell your goods and services? Don't worry, Buy Sell Direct is here for you. We will help you to sell and buy goods and services at affordable prices. Just upload your information to Buy Sell Direct. Sit back, then relax, and we call the clients for you. You can reach millions of buyers and sellers from the comfort of your home. On our website, you will find goods, services, apartments, houses, hotels, jobs, catering, pets, electronics, vehicles, education, furniture, fashion, and more. Just advertise with us, then relax. We will call the clients for you. Today's title is the ING triplets part one. Now very often when we see ING, any word ending in ING, we tend to think that that word is a verb just because the continuous form of the verb is ing now uh, yes of course when we see a sentence like she is swimming we know that swimming is part of the verb is swimming and that is the present continuous form because it is action which is going on however the same swimming can appear in two other sentences where it is not a verb. The first other swimming which is not a verb is when the swimming is working as a noun. In other words, when it gives us the name of something. If you say, I love swimming. Swimming is the name of that thing which I love. And that thing is swimming. Therefore, swimming here is a noun. It is giving the name of something. The activity swimming. Swimming can come in the sentence that is a swimming pool. There, we know that swimming is qualifying the noun pool, therefore swimming here is working just as an adjective. So these are the two other forms of ING. We have three INGs. The first one is a continuous form of the verb she is swimming. Second one where ING is working as and now naming something, I love swimming. Finally, swimming pool, the same swimming, becomes like an adjective qualifying the verb, qualifying the noun pool. This is Roger Olympio, your usual web class teacher. Bye-bye.